Securities and Exchange Commission Commissioner Blas James Viterbo resigns on Wednesday, supposedly because of health concerns. Viterbo steps down three years before the end of his term. SEC Chairman Teresita Herbosa says Viterbo is prioritizing his medical checkup since he has an irregular heartbeat. Viterbo did not take part in the SEC probe into Rappler's alleged violation of the Constitution. The SEC revoked Rappler's incorporation papers and declared null and void the Philippine depository receipts issued to a Midyar network. Rappler and its parent firm, Rappler Holdings, on Monday filed a petition for review questioning the revocation of their certificates of incorporation before the Court of Appeals. Her bossa and sex spokesperson Armand Pan are asked about the reason for the non-participation of Viterbo in the sex decision over Rappler, but they have no reply. Viterbo is the husband of Marites Gozon Viterbo, daughter of GMA Network Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Felipe Gozon. The Supreme Court affirms the dismissal of Philippine National Police officials over an anomalous shopper's deal. The SC reinstates the findings of the Ombudsman in 2012 and its order to dismiss from service 13 police officers and one personnel. The case stems from a 2009 procurement of the PNP of two standard Robinson R-44 Raven 1 light police operational helicopters worth more than $62.6 million and one fully equipped Robinson R-44 Raven 2 light police operational helicopter worth $42.3 million. The choppers were declared and priced to be brand new, but investigations showed they were second-hand and pre-owned by the former first gentleman Mike Arroyo. Arroyo was sued for graft along with the PNP officials in a trial still ongoing before the Sandigan Bayan. The Office of the Ombudsman says, quote, Aside from dismissal from the service, the accessory penalties of perpetual disqualification from holding public office and forfeiture of retirement benefits were likewise meted on them. Havana formally protests the creation of a United States task force aimed at increasing internet access on the island, saying it violates Cuban sovereignty. The communist-ruled Cuba is one of the least connected countries in the world. The U.S. State Department earlier said the task force aims to promote the free and unregulated flow of information in Cuba. It adds it will examine technological challenges and opportunities for expanding internet access and independent media in Cuba. Cuba, in its protest, says the move is an attempt to manipulate the internet for political and subversive purposes and is aimed at altering or destabilizing the constitutional order. Havana demands that Washington cease its subversive, interventionist, and illegal actions against Cuba. U.S.-Cuba ties began to warm under President Barack Obama, with the countries exchanging ambassadors in 2015 for the first time since 1961. But President Donald Trump has taken a tougher approach towards Havana since taking office. In his State of the Union speech Tuesday, Trump highlighted how his administration has imposed tough sanctions on the communist and socialist dictatorships in Cuba and Venezuela.